New at 5, the chairman of the board that runs OIA says that he's changed his mind. He's now planning to recommend staying with the TSA instead of privatizing security screening at Orlando Airport. Channel 9's Phil Sutton is live at OIA tonight. Phil, that's all part of Florida's U.S. congressional delegation coming here trying to stop the privatization, right? And we're talking about three Democrats here, Senator Bill Nelson and Representatives Val Demings and Darren Soto. And they're coming at this from a pro-union point of view, admittedly. We have a lot of union representatives here, too. More than a thousand TSA workers back there. But the airport says union or not, they have been on their best behavior lately. The number of transportation security officers at OIA is at an all-time high, pushing 1,100 thanks to 88 recent hires, on top of 47 people promoted from part-time to full-time. In our view, security and safety are number one. Just over a month ago, OIA decided to go forward with an application to privatize its security sometime in April, unless the TSA improved wait times and... The public expects, and rightly so, the highest standards of efficiency and customer service. U.S. Rep. Val Demings got involved, got the players you see at this table in one room, and all involved say things got better. We also recognize that we represent a, a piece of that, and we want to make sure that we treat people the way they need to be treated. OIA says wait times are dropping, and a better design for the troublesome West checkpoint is on the way. At TSA's end, they say morale is rising. There's a lot of more open communication. There's support from Washington headquarters at TSA. There's support from our board. It's been a dramatic turnaround, happening in 36 days flat. I intend as chairman to recommend that we rescind the prior authorization given to our executive director. For your next flight, that means OIA won't try to fire the TSA, which was automatically set to happen unless those security workers impressed airport leaders. Officially here, nothing has changed. The process of privatization is supposed to start next month. That's unless the board steps in with a second vote to stop it. Live at OIA, Field Sutton, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.